In this key concept video, I'm going to talk about gradients of tangents and normals. And to set the scene here, I'm also going to talk about initial equations and their derivatives. So in the previous two videos, we talked about how to derive an equation to get its derivative, y dash or dy dx. And then I'm going to talk about what the derivative actually means. Now these type of questions appear in pretty much every single IB Maths um, studies paper in either paper one or paper two, pretty much in every exam period. So they're very important to get your head around. Okay, first things first, before I'm actually going to talk about this, I'm just going to derive this equation here using the rules that we talked about in the previous two videos. So 3x squared will become 6x, 2x will become 2, and this constant 3 will become 0. So y dash is 6x plus 2. Now, I want to talk about this particular equation here. This is what it looks like using our graphics calculator. I want to talk about the tangent to this graph at the point x equals 1, which is this coordinate here. Now, if I was to draw a tangent at this point, it's a straight line that just touches the graph at that point, it's parallel to the graph at that point, and keeps continuing like this. That's the tangent at x equals 1. And you can see here, I can draw tangents all over the place. I could draw a tangent here, I could draw a tangent here. This tangent here just happens to be the one at x equals 1. Now, what if you pose the question, well, what's the gradient of this line, the gradient of this tangent, which I'm going to call mt. We call, m, we call the gradient lowercase m and the t for tangent. So what is the gradient of this line? Well, it looks positive. That's, that's to start. It looks because straight lines have a positive gradient like this and a negative gradient like this. I could perhaps take a guess. I could try to do rise over run. But how do I know for sure? Well, this is where the derivative comes in. If I were to say sub in, so substitute in x equals 1 into my derivative, what do I get? Well, I get y dash equals 6 times 1 plus 2, and that is equal to 8. Now, lo and behold, that is the gradient of this tangent. So that's the relationship here between the derivative and the initial equation. Once I derive an equation, or a function, depending on uh, the context, if I then sub in an x value for a certain point, that will get me the gradient of that tangent. That's sort of the key point to understand here. Okay, and then we could use that to potentially find the equation of this tangent, but I won't cover that in this video. That's more about coordinate geometry, uh, topic five. Uh, the only other thing I did want to talk about is, what about a normal at the point x equals one? As we talked about in coordinate geometry, normals are perpendicular lines to tangents like this, and we talked about the relationship that the gradient of the normal is equal to minus one on the gradient of the tangent. Now we happen to find out the gradient of the tangent here to be eight. So the gradient of this normal here would be minus one on eight. Okay, so that's about it in a nutshell. I recommend practicing. There's uh, plenty of questions on the gradients of tangents and normals in the um, differential calculus question bank section. So go ahead and practice some of those. These questions appear very frequently.